Most people are going to stare at this mind-bending math problem and think it's impossible to solve because we have this uh, indefinite chain of square roots. So we have the square root of 49 plus the square root of 49 underneath this big square root plus the square root of 49 underneath this square root right here. And this pattern continues on indefinitely. In other words, it doesn't stop. But we can actually calculate the sum total of this entire expression. And the beauty here is that if you study this problem, if you just kind of look at it, there's some hidden logic built into it that will help you solve the problem. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we have all of these uh, square roots. What is the answer? Well, here it is. The correct uh, solution is one plus the square root of 197 over two. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you an A++. Plus plus. Matter of fact, if you are in my uh, math class, I would just say take the rest of the year off. I'm not sure how you're getting good at math. You're probably watching that guy on YouTube. But if you are confused here, again, uh, there's some hidden logic, but we need to use a little bit of algebra as well. So let's see exactly how to solve this problem. So as I indicated, there is some hidden logic here that can help us solve this problem. Now, if we just kind of look at it, it's going to seem almost impossible to add up all these square roots of 49s because this pattern goes on indefinitely. So we have an indefinite chain of square roots. Matter of fact, uh, let's just kind of see if we can figure out the pattern here. We'll take the two first uh, square roots of 49 and let's see if we can kind of figure something out. Uh, by looking at this part of the pattern. So if we have the square root of 49 plus the square root of 49 underneath that square root, well, the square root of 49 by itself is 7. So this is going to be equal to the square root of 49 plus 7, and that's going to be equal to the square root of 56. And this is an irrational number. In other words, this is some sort of decimal. So already right off the bat, it doesn't look like this problem is getting any uh, uh, simpler. So how can we figure this out? Well, again, there is some beautiful logic here, but you're going to have to use some algebra. So let's think of this entire value as a variable. In other words, let's let the variable x represent the sum total finite value of all this uh, expression right here, or this entire expression. Okay, now this is really going to help us out, and this is where you really need to study this pattern. Now remember, we have x is equal to this entire thing, but this pattern is repeating. In other words, we have this square root like this, and then we're adding this whole big square root like this, and then we're adding this another big square root like so. In other words, this is a repeating pattern within all these square roots. So let me show you this uh, beautiful little kind of uh, pattern or logic to help us figure this out. Okay, so here it is. So if we're going to say that x is equal to the square root of all of this right here, this entire value, well, if you notice this part of the problem right here, uh, this 49 plus the square root of all of this right here is also x. In other words, whatever this is, this x represents the entire value of this indefinite uh, sum, okay? But you can see here that this is also x. It's the same pattern. So this thing is equal to this thing right here. There is no difference because this dot, dot, dot indicates this goes out to infinity. So what we can do, and let me just kind of erase some of this stuff right here, is replace all of this with x as well. And when we do that, we end up with this equation right here. x is equal to the square root of 49 plus x. So if we can solve this equation for x, we will figure out the answer. So let's take a look at those steps right now. 
Okay, so once again, we have this lovely little algebra equation. X is equal to the square root of 49 plus X, and this represents our entire problem. Matter of fact, before I get into how to solve this equation, let's just kind of revisit the logic here. So we have X is equal to this entire pattern, right? So X is equal to the square root of 49 plus the square root of 49 uh, underneath that plus the square root of 49 on and on and on. So this outside pattern is the same thing as this inside pattern right here. So if X is equal to this entire pattern, well, this part of the problem inside of it is also X because this is an indefinite pattern. It doesn't stop. Okay, so as long as you understand that, really uh, the rest of this problem boils down to your ability to solve a radical equation in algebra. All right, so we have x is equal to the square root of 49 plus x. So the first thing that we want to do here is square both sides. We want to get rid of this square root. So we're going to square both sides. So we're going to get up, we're going to end up, excuse me, with x squared. And then the square root on this side is going to go away. So we're going to end up with x squared is equal to 49 plus x. Okay, so now at this point, we are dealing with a quadratic equation. We have x squared is equal to 49 plus x. And hopefully you understand that when you are dealing with a quadratic equation, there's always two solutions. So what we want to do here is set this equation equal to zero. So I'm going to move this x and this 49 over to the left-hand side of the equation. And I have x squared minus x minus 49 is equal to zero. Now, if you don't understand any of this algebra, you might want to check out my algebra courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, now at this point, uh, what you want to try to do when it comes to solving a quadratic trinomial is maybe factor this, but this is not factorable. So we're going to have to use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. So let's do that right now. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure this uh, equation is written in standard form. In other words, from highest to lowest power, and it already is. So we have x squared minus x minus 49. Now the coefficients here, uh, the numbers in front of each of these uh, terms, is going to give us our a, b, and c values. So let me just show you the quadratic formula right here. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we're talking about like first year algebra stuff. But remember, anytime uh, you can't factor a quadratic uh, trinomial to solve uh, for the solutions here, you can always use the quadratic formula. So the coefficient in front of this x squared is 1, so that is a. And the coefficient in front of this uh, x right here is a negative 1. So b is equal to negative 1. So remember, this is a, this is b, and this is c. And then our constant here is negative 49. So that is uh, what c is equal to. All right, so we have our a, b, and c values. And we have our quadratic formula. So all we have to do is plug in a, b, and c for these uh, respective variables into the quadratic formula. All right, so let me go ahead and show you that work right now. So there you go. All right, so x is equal to a negative of a negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 49 all over 2 times 1. All right, so anytime you are number crunching with the quadratic formula, you got to be very careful of this part right here. This is called the discriminant. So this negative 1 squared is going to be a positive 1. And right here is a part of the problem or the part of the quadratic formula that gets a lot of people in trouble. This minus 4ac. So I'm going to tell you just to kind of make this into an addition and uh, put your negative sign right here. So we have a negative times a positive times a negative. So all of this will be positive. Okay, so over here we have a negative of a negative. That's a positive as well. And then 2 times 1 is positive. So we have to be very careful here as it's easy to make mistakes. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Also, if you need help in math at any level, I'm talking about basic math, algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, make sure to check out my courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. 
All right, so let's finish up this problem. So here is our uh, lovely quadratic uh, formula, and we have to do all this number crunching. So I kind of uh, set this up for you, but I'm going to spare you all the details. Uh, we're talking about basic algebra here, but this is all going to distill down to this. So we're going to get uh, x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 197 over 2. Now, anytime you have a quadratic equation, you're always going to have two solutions. So this plus or minus right here means that one solution is going to be 1 plus the square root of 197 over 2. And the other solution is going to be 1 minus the square root of 197 over 2. But remember, we uh, thought about this problem, and the final answer must be positive. So you can see right here, we're going to end up with a negative value for this solution. So we can kind of throw this out. So this is our final answer, 1 plus the square root of 197 over 2. All right, so this indeed is a very challenging problem. And uh, don't feel bad if you didn't figure it out uh, from the beginning. Remember, uh, the beauty about math is trying to figure out kind of hidden patterns. And this particular problem, I think, are really boiled down to uh, letting a variable like x represent the value of this entire thing and then identifying, seeing that uh, this pattern underneath here is the same pattern of the outer problem, if you will, and we can actually use the same variable to represent these same values. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.